Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today. For today's theme, as I was thinking about it, it reminded me of something that I have uh, experienced in my job. So, um, you may be aware, but as a job, I am a primary school teacher. And every so often, this was before the COVID days, I would have the wonderful opportunity of meeting the parents of the children that I teach. And it was a really, really interesting experience because the first time you meet the parents of somebody that's in your class, you're not really quite sure who they are because you've never been introduced to them. So they're all sitting outside waiting to come in and you've got a timetable, a schedule of which parents you want to see and you call them in. And what I've noticed is that sometimes as soon as I look at a parent, a mum or a dad, I don't even have to ask. I can tell which child belongs to them. That's because as children, in many ways, you are just like your parents. It might be that you've got your mum's eyes or your dad's ears or perhaps your dad's really really tall and so are you and it's not just their physical appearance the way that the children in my class look sometimes their mannerisms or their personality would be just like their mom or their dad and that links in really nicely to today's theme because the Bible talks about us being children of God and that means that God wants us to look like him not necessarily physically but in our mannerisms in the way we approach things in our responses to different things and today we're going to be learning how we can be just like our Father in heaven so stay tuned in and have a wonderful time speak to you later bye for now Hi everyone, hope you've had a really great week. So today for the game we're going to do a game of beans. So we've got jelly bean, we do whistling, we've got broad bean, we've got string bean, we've got jumping bean, you jump up and down, we've got baked bean where you lie on the floor and you some baby. We've got French bean, ooh la la. Right, are you ready? See if you can keep up with me. Broad bean, jelly bean, jumping bean. String bean, French bean, baked bean, broad bean, jelly bean, jumping bean, spring bean. Are you keeping up? Okay, we're going to go a bit quicker this time. Are you ready? Get your mini shoes on. Are you ready? Jumping bean, broad bean, jelly bean, string bean, French bean, broad bean, baked bean, jelly bean, string bean, broad bean. Right B, French B. You keep it up, you do really, really well. So, are you ready? We're going to do it a bit quicker this time. So, are you ready? Broad B, string B, jelly B, bait B, French B, broad B, jumping B, jelly B, jumping B, string B, bait B. You're getting really good at this, really, really good. Right, one last time, we're going to go really quick this time. Are you ready? Broad bean, jumping bean, jelly bean, string bean, baked bean, string bean, French bean, broad bean, jumpy bean, string bean, belly, jelly bean. Get me talking a knot now. One last time. Jelly bean, broad bean, string bean, baked bean, French bean, jumping bean, jelly bean, jumping bean, string bean, jumping bean, broad bean, baked bean. Have a rest. <sighs> well done. Hope you enjoyed the game. See you soon. Bye.
type one or two words into the chat. Let's have a think. Well, perhaps a palace or a castle is where a king lives. He would wear a crown and perhaps robes. Um, he would have power and authority. He would perhaps be rich and have treasures and definitely servants. A king would have servants. Well, keep in mind today that Jesus is the King of Kings. See if you can notice anything strange that he does in today's story. I'm going to read the story from a book in the Bible called John chapter 13. Jesus and his disciples were getting ready for the Passover festival. Jesus knew it was almost time for him to leave. He was going to leave earth and go back to heaven. While they were eating dinner, Jesus had a lot of things on his mind. He knew that one of his friends was going to betray him. And he also knew that God had a plan and everything was going to be under control. After eating dinner, Jesus got up and took a basin of water and he started to wash the disciples' feet. He came to Simon Peter. Oh dear, he doesn't look very happy there. Lord, are you going to wash my feet? He said. Jesus replied, you do not realise now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, Peter said, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash your feet, Peter, you'll have no part with me. Then Lord Simon Peter said, Wash my feet and my hands and my head. He 
jealousy. It was a custom in those days that when visitors came, a servant would always wash their feet. And you would do that because the roads were really dirty and dusty. And it wasn't like tables now where our feet are hidden under the table. They would sit very low, perhaps with their legs crossed and they could see each other's feet. So being clean was really important. But you know, the disciples had arranged this wonderful meal and they didn't arrange for anybody to wash feet. And it never occurred to not one of them to get up and wash each other's feet. And they waited until Jesus, who was the King of Kings, to get up and wash their feet. And they were shocked, shocked into silence. And Peter was like, no, you can't do that. But Jesus was setting them an example. He was showing them how to behave. That if you see people have a need, then we should do something to meet that need. We should do something to help. And that's what Jesus was doing. He didn't think he was too good to do that lowly job, but he saw he needed doing and in his heart, he had a servant heart to serve others. Let's just read the end of the story. When he had finished washing the feet, he returned to this table and he said, do you understand what I have done for you? You call me teacher and you call me Lord. And that is right because that's what I am. But now I have washed your feet. You should wash one another's feet. I have set an example for you to follow. And very truly I say to you that no servant is greater than his master or a messenger greater than the one who sent him. But now I want you to know that you will be blessed if you do these things. Jesus was the greatest person ever, but he didn't think himself too good to wash other people's feet. And you know what? We need to be like Jesus and follow his example, to love like Jesus did, to live like Jesus did, and to serve like Jesus did. And when we learn to do that, we will be sharing God's love with others.
can look at these and it will remind us when it they have been made in God's image. Okay, so there you go. And uh, hopefully you'll make one and we'll see you all soon. And we're going to say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Hopefully we'll see you all. Bye. Take a picture of it. Send it to us. Uh... Yeah, so, oh yeah, Elliot saying, um, take a picture of yours and put it on Facebook or something, yeah? Yeah! yeah. yeah it's desperate to see your designs too. Okay, see you later, bye! Bye! I want to be like Hello again. What a wonderful session. It's been great, hasn't it, to learn about how we can be more like Jesus and how we can reflect him in our daily lives. If we think back to the start when I told you about the children in my class and how often they were just like their parents, do you think they had to try to be like their parents? I don't think they woke up every day and thought, Oh, I've got to behave just like my mom today or I've got to behave just like my dad or got to do it just that kind of way so that it looks like them. It just came naturally to them because they spent so much time around their moms and their dads and we pick up the qualities of the people that we spend a lot of time with. And the more that we look at Jesus, the more that we spend time with him, the more we will pick up his characteristics almost without trying because the Holy Spirit will help us to become more like Jesus. That's why we always encourage you to spend time talking to him and reading your Bible and, and worshipping him because the more we look at him the more we become like him and that's what we're trying to be. Let's pray. Dear God thank you for making each one of us in your image. 
sometimes we make choices that don't reflect who you really are and we're sorry for that but we pray that you would help us to spend time looking to you and listening to you so that we can become more and more like our father in heaven in jesus name amen